confirmed. Enemy down. <laughs> What is going on everybody and welcome back here to the channel as the occasion for another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. So today we're going to be comparing the Damon 3XP submachine gun with the GKS. Now just to touch on this real quick guys, I've been getting between like 20 and 25 views on each of my videos so far. Now I know it's not a lot but I do appreciate every single one of you guys who are out here watching my videos and supporting the channel. So I want to get to know you guys better. Leave down in the comment section below where you guys are from. Like I said I want to get to know you guys and I want you guys to get to know me. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario but I'm out here in Halifax, Nova Scotia doing some school. So if you guys like today's video please make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and turn on those bell notifications and you'll never miss another cool video like this one. I'll see you guys in the video. Alright guys, so in today's gun comparison between the GKS submachine gun and the Damon 3XB submachine gun, we're going to be comparing them head to head and taking a look at a variety of things. We're going to be looking at the base stats of the guns, we're going to look at what situations it excels in, we're also going to take a look at what other guns it's similar to in this game, what attachments really make the gun excel, and then ultimately we're going to come to the decision which gun is better in this game. Now. Starting off with some of the stuff on the GKS and its base stats. In terms of damage, it's actually extremely similar to the Damon. They both have that four stat on the damage scale in this game. So in terms of damage, they are on point. But um, one difference is that when you slap on the operator mod to get the quad shot on the GKS, it actually does increase the damage fall off range. So you can give it range. Um, now in, in terms of damage, it would increase the damage at longer ranges. So I think we're going to have to give the damage party to the GKS, even though at base stats, they are very similar. Now, moving on to range, once again, the GKS with that operator mod, it does kind of steal the show in terms of range. This is all on paper though, in terms of the base stats. Next, looking at the fire rate, um, this is where it gets really, really interesting. Now, the Damon 3XB has an insanely high fire rate, guys. It is absolutely crazy how fast this gun shoots its rounds and melts people on the battlefield. In terms of a comparable gun to the Damon 3XB, we can compare it to the Spitfire because the Spitfire also has an exceptionally high fire rate in this game. But little did you guys know that the Damon actually has a higher fire rate than the Spitfire. Now this is even without rapid fire. Um, the Spitfire with its operator mod though, it's called Wildfire. It does absolutely blow every other weapon in this game out of the water when it comes to fire rate. Um, it, it will be faster than the Damon and the GKS. But in terms of base stats with the Damon, it does have a higher fire rate. And then when you throw on that rapid fire attachment onto the Damon between the GKS, it definitely has the higher fire rate. Now, when you throw on the quad shot onto the GKS, it actually does also increase its fire rate as well on top of its damage fall off range and on top of its overall damage. So when you do throw on this attachment, it increases its rounds. I think it's to 1200 RPMs right around uh, with the swordfish's wrap. Um, not rapid fire, the swordfish doesn't have rapid fire, but it, it gets it up to the swordfish's fire rate. So in terms of this stat, we're going to have to give it to the daemon because it does just shoot a lot faster. Now this, this stat here, this next one we're going to be talking about, which is accuracy, is fairly interesting because once again, guys, I said this is all on paper in terms of what the game stats tell us these weapons are capable of. When you look at accuracy, the GKS does have a higher accuracy than the Damon 3XP. And don't get me wrong, the GKS is an absolute laser beam. I can compare the GKS somewhat to the ICR in this game. The ICR is another laser beam gun. Everyone's aware of it, everyone knows of it, and it's a very good weapon. But I, I've always been an SMG player, and I like mobility when it comes to playing this game. So when looking at the GKS, this is uh, definitely my go to between the ICR and a submachine gun. It is the ICR of submachine guns. It's so accurate, especially when you throw in the grip one and grip two, just like the ICR is capable of. 
But I honestly don't run those attachments because I think it's fairly accurate already. So you do not need these. But in terms of accuracy, the Damon 3XB is also a very accurate weapon. On paper, it says it is less accurate, but in game, I found me picking off people all the way across the map. I was getting long shot after long shot with this gun. Honestly, the GKS does have more accuracy and you can pick people off across the map, but the Damon 3XB uh, remind you, it does have a higher fire rate. So I was able to kill people much much quicker when trying to pick off those long shots which played into its favor so that is all the stats on these two guns guys honestly they are pretty even um in terms of how they both end up taking their w's but i do think they both play favorite in different situations these are two very good burst smgs now in terms of longer situ like longer range situations um i know i said the daemon does pick people off a bit quicker but just because the gks is so accurate it literally is a laser beam and in terms of consistency i am gonna have to say that the gks is better if you're an smg player who still likes that quick mobility aspect of the game likes to rush around likes to pick off people fast but you still do like to pick your long shots you know what i'm saying so you're more of a balanced player but taking the natural attributes of the smg you're gonna want to go with the gks now the Damon 3xb i honestly I think this gun is the best gun in this game when it comes to short range even better than the Spitfire because it's so accurate so if you're if you're trying to get up close get in people's faces and then once again like I said you can still pick people off fairly uh, well at those medium to longer ranges but it's not as consistent as the GKS you're gonna want to go with the Damon 3xp because you're you're a melting machine uh, with this gun guys I cannot stress it enough try it out for yourself um, I did post the best class setup on this in one of my earlier videos on the Damon 3xp you guys could refer to that if you guys want to know what you want to run on this weapon when you're trying it out yourself but yeah uh, this gun is an absolute well machine you're gonna dominate up close with it and just win almost every gun battle if you enter it carefully and play the game smart so this leaves us to the final question which gun is better in this game now guys i, I honestly i, I want to say for my personal play style as someone who plays more aggressive i, I i'd have to say the daemon 3xp because it once again it just fits my play style better but as a clear definite winner i don't think there is one and i hate to say it because I, I don't like ending videos on a on, on a draw i mean i don't think anyone ever likes draws but take your pick guys because i'm not trying to bash either of these weapons they're both very great but take your pick so if, if you're more uh if you still like to push once again if, you, if you're playing with smgs guys you should be aggressive players in general but if you like to push and you still like to sit back sometimes and take your longer shots then i suggest you go with the gks but if you're very much so in people's faces constantly running around being in the heat of the moment you're never out of it then i say you go with the daemon 3xp so that is gonna do it today guys for this gun comparison between the gks and the daemon 3xp i hope you guys did enjoy this video found it informative or i helped you make a decision on which weapon to choose so yeah if you guys did like it please make sure you smash that like button drop a like drop a like drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already i'll uh i'll see you guys in the next one okay hope you enjoyed bye bye